and welcome to another episode of She's Got Legs, where we spotlight the most misunderstood creatures on our planet. I'm your host, Caitlin Henderson, and I've never, to my knowledge, eaten a live butterfly, which I really can't say about the other guy in this episode. I wanted to make a video for you guys about a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis, which would have been really pretty, and even all the commenters that usually threaten to kill stuff in my videos with a flamethrower would have been happy because everyone likes butterflies. At least I thought they did when I was writing this video, but I've since found out about lepidopterophobia, which is a fear of butterflies and moths. Now, I know lots of people who are terrified of moths, but I've never met anyone who was like, oh my god, a butterfly, it's so beautiful, I'm terrified. But I see you now, Lepidopterophobes, and I think you're gonna love this video extra hard because the butterfly dies. So here I was setting up the camera ready to capture the process of the butterfly closing from its pupa to its adult form and everything was going perfectly. I could see the process unfolding before my very eyes and just as the butterfly was about to emerge, I spotted this shiny blue blob on the leaf. When I looked closer, I saw that it wasn't just a blob, it was in fact a young predatory stink bug that was drinking my butterfly like a milkshake. The absolute audacity to not only ruin the scene, but to eat the main actor. Predatory stink bugs, or shield bugs, belong to a family of true bugs called Pentatomidae. And most of these bugs eat plant sap, but a special subfamily called Asopini really loves to feed on soft-bodied insects that don't run too fast, and caterpillars and pupae are favorites. Once I saw the predatory bug feeding on the butterfly pupa, I figured the butterfly was cactus, so I may as well keep filming and see what happened. And I wanted to give you guys a cool close-up view of the feeding process, which is crazy interesting. Let's back up for a second and talk about how true bugs feed. Chew bugs are an evolutionary tragedy because they're an entire order of insects that can't chew, which means they can't eat chips. Their mouth parts have basically evolved into a straw which is held together by a sheath. The straw or stylet is really interesting. This hollow contraption has two channels, one for injecting digestive saliva through and the other for sucking the resulting soup back out. For predatory stink bugs, this stylet also injects toxins that kill their prey. And this tube is held together by a sheath called the labium, which is basically an oversized bottom lip. The stylet not only pierces, injects, and sucks, it also soars. It's basically the Swiss army knife of mouths. The end of the stylet is serrated, and as the bug is feeding, it moves it back and forth to soar up the inside of its prey and get some more of the tasty juices. This is like a horror movie, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> One thing we get from watching the time lapse is seeing how the bug moves around its prey and feeds from different points rather than just sitting still. This allows it to keep accessing its prey's tasty juices. It's quite methodical. It starts at the front left and moves all the way around to the back before coming around to start on the other side. I have never eaten this neatly in my life. Predatory stink bugs are so good at eating insects, they've gone professional. In some parts of the world, they've been employed to eat things like caterpillars that can do massive damage to plants if they don't have predators around to keep their numbers down. And it just reinforces my belief that most problems can be solved by throwing bugs at them. Thanks for watching She's Got Legs. These videos are funded by our amazing supporters at Patreon, so check out the link in the video description if you want to be part of the project. As usual, subscribe to this channel for more bugs than you can handle and check out my other social media links below.